Hello friends, this video on 3 dimensional geometry part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 and part 2. Let's take some examples of direction ratio and direction cosine. If a line makes 90 degree, 135 degree and 45 degree with x, y and z axis, we have to find its direction cosine. Please note, we have to find direction cosine. We have to find cos alpha, cos beta and cos gamma. We are told that alpha is 90, beta is 135 and gamma is 45. Why? Because 90, 35 and 45 are angle with x, y and z axis. So let's find cos 90 degree. That is equal to 0. Cos 135, beta, that is minus 1 by root 2. And cos gamma, that is cos 45, that is 1 by root 2. So my direction cosine My direction which is nothing but 0 minus 1 by root 2 and 1 by and that is my answer. Very simple. I knew the angle and I could find direction cosine very easily. Let's take one more example. We define the direction cosine of the line which makes equal angle with the coordinate axis. That means I am telling that my angle alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma. So in this case my direction cosine will be cos alpha, cos beta and cos gamma. Since alpha, beta and gamma is same, I can say that my direction cosines are cos alpha, cos alpha and cos alpha. But what is the value of this alpha? We don't know. But we know one thing. That is, I know that cos alpha square plus cos beta square plus cos gamma square is going to do 1. In this case, all are cos alpha because alpha, beta, gamma are all equal. So I can say that cos square alpha plus cos square alpha plus cos square alpha is equal to 1. Or I say 3 cos square alpha is equal to 1. Or I say cos alpha is equal to plus minus 1 by root 3. Or I can say that this is the value of cos alpha. Right? So this is what I was looking for. So I can say that this is nothing but plus minus 1 by 3 plus minus 1 by root 3 and plus minus 1 by root and that is what it is. Very simple, not a difficult thing. I was told that my direction cosines are equal, I defined the value of direction cosines. So I assume direction cosine is cos alpha, cos alpha, cos alpha, but that is not the answer. I want the value of cos alpha. For this, I use one more equation where I say cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to 1. I knew beta is equal to alpha, gamma is equal to alpha, and alpha is equal to alpha by default. With this, I got cos alpha is nothing but plus minus 1 by root. Let's take one more example. I am told that the direction ratio for this line is this. I define the direction cosine. That is, if I have lines on PQ, my equation is nothing but minus 18i plus 12j minus 4k. This is my equation of line because direction ratio makes the line. I have to find the direction cosines. This guy is A, this guy is B and this guy is C. Right? So direction cosine I know cos alpha is A by root A square plus B square C square. Right? My cos beta is B by root A square plus B square plus C square and cos gamma is c by root a square plus b square plus c square. Correct. I know a, I know b, I know c. First let me find root a square plus b square plus c square because that is required everywhere. So that is root of 18 square plus 12 square plus 4 square. Actually minus 4 square, minus 4 square will also be equal to 4 square. This is minus 18 square. Both are same actually. So this if you solve this, this becomes 324, 12 square is 144, 4 square is 16, and this is nothing but root 484, and that is 22. So I got the value of root a square plus b square c. So my cos alpha is simple, cos alpha is a by this whole thing, a is what minus 18, and this whole thing is nothing but 22. So cos alpha is 22, 8 minus 18 by 22. Cos beta was 
b by whole thing so b by whole thing b is what 12 actually so 12 by whole thing is 22 this guy is 12 let me write properly here 12 by 22 cos gamma is c that is minus 4 by whole thing that is 22 and this are my direction cosines very simple, not a difficult one. Minus 18 by 22, or you can make it in minus 9 by 11 also. This you can make is 6 by 11 also, and this you can make is minus 2 by 11. So these are my direction ratios. Sorry, direction cosines. We have to find direction cosines. So we found a direction cosines where direction ratio was given. We have to prove that the points are collinear. So we have done similar kind of questions where I have these three points given that this be A, this B and C. Then we have to prove this is collinear. So we generally find vector A, B and we find vector B, C. We try to prove that they are parallel and thus we can say that they are all collinear. Right? All you can do is you can find the cross product of a, B and B, C and that should be Z. The only extra thing added is the Z component here. So we have done this for two dimensions in the vector chapter. The only extra thing added is the Z thing here. So if A, B, C are these points representing uh, these points. So this A vector is nothing but 2i plus 3j plus 4k. B vector is minus i minus 2j minus k minus i minus 2j plus k and c vector is 5i 8j 7k 5i plus 8j plus 7k so these are my a b and c vector so let's find first a b and b c vector because we need that right so a b vector will be b vector minus a vector and that is going to minus 1 minus i minus 2j plus 3k that is b vector minus a vector 2i 3j 4k 3j plus 4 correct and this comes out to be minus and minus that is minus 3i minus 2j minus 3j is minus 5j k minus 4k is minus 3k so this is my ab vector and similarly let's find uh, bc vector now bc vector will be c vector minus b vector what is c vector 5i 8j 7k 5i plus 8j plus 7k minus b vector minus i minus 2j plus k minus i minus 2j minus plus k this is 5i plus i is 6i 8i plus 2i is 10j so 8j plus 2j is 10j and 7k minus k is 6k so I got these vectors a, b and b, c. If I can prove that a, b vector is some constant into b, c vector, that means both are parallel. Or I can prove that a, b vector cross b, c vector is equal to 0. That means I can say that, in both cases I can say that they are correlated. Let's try the first way because it is easy. We did not find the cross product. So let's compare these two. So if you compare, my a, b vector was minus 3i minus 5j minus 3k and my bc vector is nothing but 6i plus 10j plus 6k so you can observe here my av vector is nothing but minus 1 by 2 into bc vector. because you multiply this pair minus 1 by 2 what you get is av vector correct the 6 becomes minus 3 10 becomes minus 5 6 becomes minus 3 Thus, I can say that all are A, B, C are correlated. Other way you can use the cross product also, but I don't want to use that because that needs a lot of calculation. And I can just prove this this way. So why to go for a cross product? 
So we have done this kind of questions. If you are not understanding it properly, you can watch the vector chapter, the previous chapter, where we have uh, spent more time in understanding the concepts. Here, the concepts are all same. The only thing is we have extra k component added here in all this case to make it 3D. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.